So I'm a little low on faith. I'm going to pick up a bit here. And uh, maybe do a bit more clearing on the right side. Uh, I was debating about whether or not to skip more of these sections. Um, no, 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 no. Aside from the, the funny things like that that happen. Um, but I know that when I watch YouTube videos, a lot of times I do it just to listen to something and then I look over and watch whenever interesting things happen. Um, but it's more of, it's as much about just the sound as it is anything else. There for quite a while I watched a lot of Kurt J. Mac. Um, I don't really watch Minecraft's YouTubes anymore, but I watched a lot of it for a while. And it was mostly just because I really enjoyed listening to his voice and uh, I thought he, he sounded good when uh, when he did his Let's Plays and that was the main appeal. I would listen to it while I was working on whatever and if something fun happened, I would watch it. But otherwise, I wasn't even looking at the screen. So I think what I might do is more recording, less cuts for Goddess. I don't know. If you dislike that, let me know. Give me your opinions and thoughts. I would love to hear them. In the meantime, I'm going to cut down the rest of this mountain with, well, as much as I can with the faith I have left. There we go. Uh, let's see. Do like a little ramp up to the Fortress of Solitude. Or what will be my Fortress Getaway. Uh, and after that, we'll do a Mount of the Gods, and then I'm probably going to be done for the afternoon. Um, partly because it's about time to cook dinner, and partly because, like I said, Path of Exile came out, and I'm very, very excited about that. Um, absolutely cannot wait to get in there and see some of the new visual changes they've done. Um, like I said, I'm planning a Lightning Arrow Archer. I really have to decide about Blood Magic, which... Blood Magic lets you use your health instead of your mana for skills. Um, it's really good, but it's going to really kill my aura usage if I use it. So, we'll see. It could go either way at this point. Um, but, to the Mount of the Gods. Let's kick some NPC butt. Lads, I've just found something. Well, what is it, Dan? I was sculpting a staircase on a mountain... And there was something under the ground. What was it? I don't know. But it's massive, I've been digging for hours. Knackered my wrist. Is that a joke about how much clicking you have to do in this game? <laughs> Sounds lazy. Cliff sculpting is the only way to do it. The fact he's being referred to as the weirdo is not a good sign here. Let's battle. What are we doing in this battle? Build the greater civilization before Armageddon. Okay. I've been on this map before. Followers out here. Finger of God is up back up to four thousand for this map. Okay, that's probably a good thing. My totems are cheap as dirt again, though.
this be little houses. And then we're gonna do a big one over here. That should keep us both expanding at a decent rate and keep the faith up because I'm starting to run a little low already. She decided she didn't want to build here at all. That's an interesting decision. I can't finger of God over the wall. That would be spectacular. Alas, I cannot. Um, Come on, get to building. Aha, four people. Get on it. is not hard to beat at this. It says there's two people in there, but I don't believe it. Pretty sure I have work that needs to be done out here. Or maybe there were already dudes assigned to it. That's what it probably was. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Level four construction. Get that bad boy built. Level five. So I'm really, like I said, I'm not certain about this whole followers won't ever fight enemy followers. Because um, it basically means that all combat in terms of like taking down uh, enemy buildings is all god versus god. Um, which I suppose could be an interesting dynamic. I just haven't seen it I guess in real multiplayer and so I'm not sure how I feel about it. I feel like it could work but I feel like it might not work either. The finger of god costs so much. I'm never gonna get it at this rate get activated at this rate. Here we go. gonna do with people at that totem, really. Oh, 
they're just building their houses back as fast as they, as fast as I can destroy them. And that's kind of the thing, like, no matter how, how much I attack, never really gonna have enough fate to destroy that sieve. It's simply not gonna happen. Uh, which I, I know this is a small map, so that's not the point. Right, that is the point. What is going on here? On the other hand, I'm so far ahead they can't possibly beat me. Apocalypse has begun. So you actually can land sculpt during the apocalypse, which is kind of interesting. Because I don't think you can use any of your special abilities. Um, can't collect faith either. Well, you can destroy rocks to get faith. And I guess trees by extension. Very interesting design choice. Also, there's no timeout, which I'm not sure I'm thrilled about, given that I can't directly do anything. I'm... The concern about a timeout is not unrealistic, I feel. Rather, uh, a stalemate. Alright, let's see what we get. Meat. Furs, <laughs> more furs, battle hardened. Need gold, furs, and meat. I might actually have everything. Effect increased rewards for multiplayer battles leads to feudalism and politics. Early warfare was more often was often more ritual, designed as a show of courage and masculinity rather than to wipe out an enemy tribe. Warpa warfare of this type is still practiced to this day by some primitive tribes types around the world. Meat got enough meat. Furs, got enough furs. And gold. Got enough gold. Alright, so we still don't have manners or craftsmanship, both of which I think are population locked. I think that's what this little man here is trying to tell me. Um He doesn't say, but I suspect that that's the case. Which, I'm awfully close to the 1300. I know, I mean, I'm, I know I'm only at 1200 now. Um, but issues of belief aside, I don't have that much sculpting to do, I don't believe, in order to actually clear out more space. Because I do have a lot of space cleared out, it's just a matter of getting them to build on it. Which is not, you know, instantaneous, and it takes time. Uh, like I said, I probably will not record any more tonight, although I will edit this and try and get it up. Let's go, go build. Okay. Mostly because with Path of Exile out now, I'm definitely going to be playing that some tonight. I might stream it. I might be streaming a lot of that in the next few days. Um, so come by and see me there. No, 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 no. Uh, and we'll have ourselves a good time with that. Um, in the meantime, uh, between now and then, I'm going to clear off this mountain. Because uh, I feel like that's more busy work than it is anything else. And uh, that's probably all I'm going to do between now and then. I really... Next on the agenda, that is, things to do next time. Um, I'm going to do like a couple little houses here. Uh, I want to build this up so it's sort of a fortress the only way you can get in or out is this here that's going to be cool and um, I want to make sure that there's a good way to get down to here and down to here and I'm going to expand you know, widen this valley out so that it's a real valley 
Um, and I'll just have like a smattering of houses all the way down you go. And that'll look nice. And uh, over here, uh, are these both shrines of expansion? No, that's a shrine of power. Okay. Um, over here, I'm gonna level this all out and uh, just have like a gentle little beach descend down to here. That'll look really cool. I like it a lot. Um, so between now and then, uh, everybody have a good day, and uh, thanks for coming, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace out.